Yo, what is up guys, I'm back on another very special video. As you guys can see, in the title down below, we have a little bit of a cool one here. There's a shoe missing right there. These my trophy rooms, because I was filming actually with these, but we have some Sesame's down. I mean, not Sesame's, my bad. Some 352V lights, guys, but without further ado, let's get into the video real quick. So I did chop uh, a Christian Louboutin video today. Go check that out. And I'm also dropping this video as well, too. So this is your go-to um spot for you know just a cup in essentials tracksuit guys it is such high quality beautiful 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 amazing tracksuit jerry lorenzo really really did his thing i love what he released with this line and it's kind of crazy because he had this whole kind of hype um main line which was the fear of god if you guys do not know much about jerry lorenzo i'm sure a lot of you guys got introduced to his stuff uh, more recently through his essentials line but he actually has his own kind of high-end similar pricing to Amir and stuff like that um, line of, of clothing and it's very very high quality he has like some Japanese denim he has some nice thick plaid flannel jackets some nice heavy heather kind of gray sweats but he essentially was putting out all these really really nice clothing and uh, i think there was a little bit of complaints because they were kind of getting more simplistic um his jeans were like like honestly um revolutionary at the time i would say in my opinion with the two big 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 blowouts in the knees and then he had the zippers on the inseam you guys do not understand how many h&m zara uh, minimal other places copied this man with the puma even like it's just crazy not not i wouldn't say copy i would say got inspired by it, but a lot of people did rip his stuff off um he had like these signature track pants with the stripe going down the side he had those blowout needs. He he made the inseam zippers on the on the legs the popular. I've never seen it being done. And he was coming out with all these different styles, and all these companies were kind of coming out with cheaper versions of his stuff. Um, and of course, you can't patent clothing. That's what kind of clothing is and fashion is. It's kind of inspiration taken from everybody else. But then he came out with this essentials collection, and even now people are kind of coming out with their own essentials collection and kind of copying his thing. But this is more of an affordable price point because you would cop his jeans for about four. $1,500. So to have these sweatpants and cop only a hoodie for like 150 or cop some sweats for a hundred bucks, it is co like, like amazing compared to what his uh, main line is originally worth. And he still releases on that line, but his essentials is definitely what he pushes forward. It's this cozy, comfy, everyday wear meant for wearing for any type of purpose. Though a big flannel jacket, over some of the this tops and then you got these beautiful like this this cream colorway right here is insanely insanely crazy guys hit me up on instagram at ptyyvalency ah if you guys need help with anything but this kind of material right here is insane you got the signature you know um little little kind of rubber logo right here which has essentials of course the really really lo long jawstrings which he made popular you got the one pocket in the back which i really really love it's not two pockets it's not too overbearing and the waist right here is very very scrunched up so what this basically means that it stretches out a lot but it's also tight fitting which is amazing then he puts a little simple uh, like simplistic minimalistic um essentials fear of god on there same thing with this this the reason i love these sweatpants is they're so easily stackable they stack insane well and they stay the way that they stay i really really hate when i try to stack sweatpants or put put so high socks on and stuff like that with my yeezys or whatever it is and it kind of falls down so these i would say is an essential in everybody's closet they come out they come in black they come in gray they come in green they come in pretty much every type of color where you can think of and then they come in this really really nice packaging right here which is the essentials kind of bag that it comes in then it has a little bit of a warning sign on the back obviously for children and stuff like that and then it has a really really nice um kind of signature like th that's typically what um all these kind of um a clothing are really shipped in it's this nice little packet or parcel um that kind of has this matte kind of gray, uh, gray look to it uh packs and partners with essentials a lot to release it in their stores but it usually always sells out and you have to get on a grilled or all these other um third-party websites like StockX and stuff then you have this insanely insanely cool kind of zip up essentials so as you guys can see right here it says essentials across the entire chest then you have this zip up guys and now mind you this is a little bit different you can obviously put this down to kind of make it it like where it's just like that but it actually stays up and you guys will see in the video this stays up naturally just like this so it is such a dope layering piece because pretty much if you want some elevation here you can have a nice low bearing kind of flannel jacket and the collar kind of sticks up it gives you this kind of like you know a straightness and, and you know 
alignment to your neck and, and your body, which looks really, really cool, um, obviously. And then on the back, this is something else that I love. It's not just a plain back like he can do. He actually puts the rubber kind of signature essentials marking on the back as well too, which is really, really cool. And then of course he puts it on the arm as well, which you guys can see the essentials on the arm, which is so dope. And guys, I cannot uh, like pretty much stress you enough. I believe this is 100% cotton or most of it is cotton, but it has this really nice kind of soft plush material on the outside. This lettering is not going anywhere. And then it has this really nice like flush cotton on the inside. So it is such a comfortable, if not the most comfortable tracksuit I have worn. Definitely a go-to with these two pieces. So as you guys can see, these both go together like this and it is just so cozy, man. I threw on some Christian Louboutins. I threw on some Trophy Room 5s and it looks so clean and fresh together, guys. But without further ado, um, hit me up on Instagram at P-T-Y-Y-V-E-L-N-C-I. -Y P-E-T-E-Y-Y-V-L-N-C-I. -E -Y -Y if you guys have any questions about anything, I love y'all so much. Hit me up there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. It helps a lot. Thank you.